When the clouds begin to break The skyline appears And it makes me reminisce Of laughter and tears Seems like yesterday Greg Hill. I'm a jazz composer, producer. I have uh, four books of compositions written. I have another fifth book on the Roy coming out shortly. And I have, uh, this is our 13th, my 13th album on the Cold Plunge label and also Origin Records. And I'm with Randy Napoleon today. <laughs> Tell me about, so how did you choose the, the musicians for this, this enterprise in, in particular? I know that there's a puppet's legacy going on there. That's yeah. that's great. Well, yeah. Where did you where did you get the conception of the horn section, for example? Because that's really that's this is what makes it different. The puppets quite a bit. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I think something that you and I have talked a lot about is is kind of the idea of a soundscape, you know, mm -hmm. and a and a palette. And one of my top personal and musical influences in my life is Freddie Cole. You know, I played mm -hmm. in Freddie's band for. 13 years and um, we were mostly playing standards uh, but Freddie would often say to me he'd say you know it's not only about how well you play he said it's about the presentation of the music and you know you remember Freddie was always somewhat taciturn he was not a, a man of loquaciousness right. but uh so he didn't really explain what that meant but i came to realize it as you know we'd listen to something and say oh yeah that's good presentation um you know he was thinking about the way you you package and dress up the music that's what he meant by by presentation and um so the meat and potatoes of how i play is always going to be how i play i am always going to be coming out of bebop and blues and swing and I tr will continually be studying the jazz masters for my whole life and mm -hmm. trying to get a rhythmic and melodic flow like Charlie Parker or Bud Powell. And, mm -hmm. you know, I really love Monk. I really love Wes Montgomery. And these people are going to be my teachers forever. With that said, there's a lot of room to create a framework that is unusual to present your, present your playing and to package it so you know Freddie's voice is in my mind as well saying well okay how can we sonically make this a little different so mm -hmm. with Aubrey's voice and and the three horns and then this kind of you know really serious like modern jazz trio with Quincy and Rick and and Rodney this gets a um, mm -hmm. unusual presentation mm -hmm. which I like and then I'm going to play how I play. 
Well, your solos are beautiful throughout. So I'm, I'm, the, whole, the whole album is impressive, but you're the you're still you are the star of the show. Well, you, no question about that. You so. are the spark, <laughs> always, and we love you. We're so excited that our new record, "The Door Is Open," will be available February 23rd through the magic of the internet. Uh, we love it. Uh, we can't wait for it to to get actually get our hands on the CDs and play the heck out of it. It's available through Origin Records, which is originarts.com, and also greghilljazz.com. I pick up about 10 copies and spread them around. 